Hi everyone, I am Christina from Whole Family Health and September is PCOS Awareness Month. So in support of that, I wanted to talk about, in support of PCOS Awareness Month, I wanted to talk about um, the supplements that I really feel can help with some PCOS symptoms that include uh, insulin resistance and testosterone dominance. Both are major components that negatively contribute to PCOS symptoms. These symptoms include a decreased metabolism leading to weight gain and an ovulation. This means no ovulation or delayed ovulation. Uh, other not so nice symptoms include head hair loss, uh, facial or body hair growth, and acne symptoms as well. So uh, people who have a PCOS diagnosis know all about this. They, this isn't fun for them at all. I mean, it doesn't sound fun, right? And when you're trying to conceive too, you do want a more regular cycle. So an, an ovulation poses a really big, um, big factor in um, having troubles when trying to conceive. So, um, Dealing with insulin resistance and testosterone dominance becomes really, really important. And here's a bit of physiology lesson for you. Um, if there is insulin resistance, this means that the cells of the body are not responding efficiently to insulin, making it more difficult for the cells to get glucose from the bloodstream. So basically, it means that if the cells can't get glucose and absorb it from the bloodstream. That will lead to uh, the ovaries producing too much testosterone. Um, and, <laughs> and too much testosterone in the ovaries can actually um, create less follicle development, which leads to anovulation. So you can see how when you're trying to conceive um, if you're not ovulating regularly, then this kind of creates some frustration because you don't know when your fertile window is. And if you don't know when your fertile window is and you're having a really long delayed cycle, you could be ovulating on cycle day 20 when what typical, um, typical cycles, if you have a 28 day cycle, your ovulation is anywhere between cycle day 12 to 16. But if you're having a like a 60 day cycle, your fertile window could be cycle day 30 or it could be later. It just leads to a lot of confusion. So that's why I did want to discuss um, ways that you can um, support your cycle by using supplementation and supplements can be really great because you are doing something daily to help to contribute to um, having a more regulated cycle and it contributes to your fertility i before i get into my supplements i did want to make um a small like shout out to the supplements brand that i will be talking about um, we do at Whole Family Health, we use different brands, but uh, the ones that I will be demonstrating today, they're BioClinic. They are a Canadian company and they do a lot of testing for efficacy and safety. So that's one of the reasons why we do carry BioClinic, but they're not the only brand that we, we choose to carry, um, but they are one of, one of the top ones that we, that we do carry. So my first choice um, is, I don't actually have a sample to show you because <laughs> it is really one of our top supplements that we sell and they're a little bit on back order, but it's called PCOS Care uh, by BioClinic. And what it, it has a few things in it, but the two most important things is myo-inositol and d So inositol So they're, an, they're both inositols and they're a part of the B complex family of uh, vitamins. And what this does, um, it 
the B-complex and especially the inositols, they're involved in metabolism, transport, and breakdown of glucose, which is a key factor in insulin signaling. So as we talked about with my little physiology lesson was how much um, it is important for insulin to have a proper signal in order for ovulation to occur. My second choice, um, probably one of my favorite supplements, I'm, I'm a little bit biased when it comes to N-acetylcysteine because I find that it is uh, such a great supplement because it can work on a variety of things, but for today's purpose, I'm going to mainly talk about how it benefits PCOS. So N-acetylcysteine, I know it's a mouthful, but um, NAC for short, and NAC actually is an amino acid that helps to replenish glutathione. Glutathione is one of the most powerful antioxidants our body needs. This antioxidant improves circulating levels of insulin, helping with insulin sensitivity. Um, and again, we're talking about the whole insulin thing. So yes, we do. We need the body to be sensitive to, to insulin in order for ovulation to occur more regularly. The added bonus of having and using NAC if you are, um, if you have PCOS and you've been prescribed letrozole or Femera, um, is that NAC actually can help support its effectiveness while protecting um, protecting the ovary cells because it's an antioxidant. So, so if you are on letrozole or Femera um, to help aid in ovulation, NAC is a really great supplement to be um, assisting with that as well. So my third choice is an omega-3. Um, Omega-3s actually, uh, what it does is it helps to reduce testosterone presence in the body. So if it's helping to reduce the testosterone, then obviously, as I said before, too much testosterone impacts the follicles growth. So it will help with ovulation regularity and menstrual regularity. I do have to mention that the omega-3 that you take is important. It should come from fish oil. This is because um, fish oil has DHA and EPA in it. So these are fatty acids. And these fatty acids actually, um, they make the most impact on testosterone. So that's why if you're not getting it from fish source, and only getting omega-3 from a plant source. Plant source doesn't have the DHA or EPA fatty acids, so therefore it is really important to to get an omega-3 with fish oil that is that comes from fish. And Canada is really good. Um, they do test their fish oils for heavy metal toxicity, so there's no worries about um, being exposed to heavy metals when you are taking fish oils. I also did want to mention, so those were my top three ones for insulin resistance. The omega-3 that we sell, um, I don't know if you can see that there, sorry. Um, it has vitamin D in it. I, I like that it has vitamin D in it because when people are trying to conceive, they're usually having a lot of supplementation. There's there's a lot that they're taking, and if you take something that has something with it, then you're taking down your supplement uh, intake. And the important thing with vitamin D, especially like I'm up here, more Northern Canada, Edmonton, we don't get as much vitamin D exposure. So having adequate levels of vitamin D is really important. There was a study done in 2017 that was published by Fertility and Sterility that said that women who had adequate levels of vitamin D were more likely to um, get pregnant and maintain a pregnancy. So, so I do typically suggest vitamin D for a lot of women just because we are so far north. Um, if you're unsure about your vitamin D levels, then you can always ask your doctor to see where you're at if you're not wanting to supplement, but, but really it, it is a good thing to supplement with. Uh, that being said, it is also important to mention you should always be speaking with a healthcare professional about your supplements because it's important to know what dose you're taking. Uh, sometimes some supplements don't mix well with medications and we 
it is really important to get the most benefit out of whatever medication that you're taking and to make sure that they're working to the best of their ability. So you don't want to be messing around with, with any medications. So please speak to a qualified healthcare professional about any supplements before you start using them. And so thank you for joining me tonight. Uh, we will, I do, there's, there's a lot more I could speak about these supplements. I, and I did on my blog and you can access that on our website at wholefamilyhealth.ca and in support of PCOS awareness, we have multitudes of blogs going on to help support you um, with your PCOS. So check out the other blogs on our website and then we will be having other videos regarding how you can manage PCOS naturally. Thank you again and I hope everyone is staying healthy and happy. Have a good night.